For our upcoming trip to Hawaii, we're going to be vlogging every day and sharing Hawaii with all of our viewers on the YouTube channel. One of the things I want to do is be able to take the GoPros underwater for photography, but mostly for video with all the sea life and the beautiful underwater there. And I thought, well, I'd like to get a, a, like an extension pulling selfie stick uh, that would float so we could, you know, put the GoPro on the end and snorkel around with it and maybe reach down to the reefs closer to some of the eels and critters and things that I'm, you know, don't want to get really close to, don't want to disturb them. Um, and, but, you know, I didn't want anything real expensive, real high tech. You know, I may never use it again. I wanted two of them. So I started uh, shopping on Amazon and, you know, just search for floating GoPro pole. And there's a bunch and they all, most of them look pretty similar. Some of them uh, looked maybe like they were, you know, a little higher end. But again, I wasn't looking for anything real fancy. And so I found a bunch of these clear ones that adjust from short to long. And basically the way they float is there's air inside the pole. So as long as no water gets in there, um, you know, they'll float. And I'll still have the wristband on. But uh, anyway, so, you know, I... I the prices vary from day to day. That's another thing I learned because I looked for these over about a week and I got, there were so many. And uh, so I finally chose one. It was, you know, right in the middle price wise. It, it looked okay. Uh, and it was uh, $17 and I needed two of them. So I put them in my cart or actually I put them in my wish list, I thought. And, uh, and I went away and uh, came back and decided to look a little bit more before I, before I ordered them. I was going to order a couple more little little uh, things to help out with doing video with the GoPros. And uh, so anyway, I, I started looking again and I found this one. And it looked, other than being yellow, it looked exactly the same. Now, this is current and it's showing it's unavailable. But these were, uh, I believe, um, less than, they were like five seventy nine or something. So, you know, six bucks versus um 16 bucks and i'm buying two so i thought well i'm just going to get those so i put those in my cart with a couple other things and and i wasn't really paying close attention i completed the order and that was it well they showed up and i actually got four i got the two more expensive as well as these these are the more expensive as well as the less expensive and so i you know, I plan on doing it, but I've always wondered about when you see all these different brands and things on Amazon and they all look very similar. You know that probably one company's making a whole bunch and all these other companies are just getting them and rebranding them. And, you know, they're just too similar. But so I thought, well, I'll check them out. So I took them out of the package and I went over them top to bottom and they were near identical, different color handles. Actually, the less expensive one, the packaging was a little nicer. The um, other thing, the advantage on this one was on the bottom right here, this is actually a screw in quarter 20 uh, for the handle, which the other one is a molded base uh, and that does not unscrew. Some of the more expensive ones just unscrew and some screws in there as a storage compartment. But again, I didn't care about that. So, but the advantage of the other one is that I can actually use it for other things. I can actually screw in mounts and, you know, that quarter 20, you know, is, is pretty helpful. And if I need the, the little wrist strap, I just screw it on and I have it. So anyway, I've always wondered, uh, you know, I tend to, in my camera gear and my tools and things, you know, I like to buy the best value. I, you know, it doesn't have to be the Gucci most expensive but I want to buy, you know, I don't want the cheapest because I want it to last. I want to enjoy using it. I want it to function. Uh, but a lot of times, especially these days for things like this, you're finding that the price is just strictly marketing. It's how they package it and what they want to charge for it. So I found in this case that the one that was three times as much uh, was near identical qualitatively they are identical and actually the less expensive has one advantage this was a good accidental lesson for me to at least be open-minded that it's possible to sometimes spend less and get better or at least equal if you have time drop into the channel while we're in hawaii i'll label the videos vlog so you'll know they're just about 
what my wife and I are experiencing while we're there. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.